still Easter. <laughs> it's the fifth Sunday of Easter. And we're still celebrating and we're still wishing each other a happy Easter. It's not over yet. Man, it just keeps going. But on this fifth Sunday of Easter, we hear this gospel of the whole point of all of this. Right? Jesus rose from the dead, and it's coming. It's not here yet, but it's coming. That Jesus will ascend to the Father. He will go to heaven. Right now, he's still walking among us. He's still speaking to us and explaining the scriptures to us. But here he kind of reveals what's about to come. He says, I'm going ahead of you to prepare, to prepare a place for you. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. There's space for you. I'm preparing it for you. The whole idea of this life, this whole idea of discipleship, is not that we win our reward, but it's that we trust that Christ is preparing a place for us. Right? The idea of all of this is that there is access to God. That the end of all of this comes union with God. In his, in his house, there are many rooms, and there are many rooms for us to dwell in. How exciting is it that there is hope at the end of the journey? There's, there's light at the end of the street. That there's, our faith will bring us close to him. Jesus says, to the one who believes in me and in my works, they will join me in my Father's house. To believe in him means not just to acknowledge it, but to emulate it. To take what Christ does, to take what Christ teaches, to take the church that he gave us and internalize it. Make it a part of me. Allow yourself to be transformed by the gospel. Not just receive it, but to be transformed by it. Let us together go to the Father's house.